CQB, or Close Quarters Battle, is a tactical situation that involves a physical fight with firearms involved between multiple combatants at quite short range. It includes, but are not limited to, detailed planning, surprise, methods of entry, speed, and violence of action. Welcome! In this short video, we will teach you the basics of CQB tactics to answer what seems to be a simple question. How to enter and clear a room using basic CQB tactics in Ready or Not. The simple movement of muzzling your gun up or down can be used to let your team members know of an action that you will or your support must do in order to proceed further. More on that mechanic later during entry. If you are last in your team, you are still very helpful. You usually have responsibility of making sure that angles other than the tree are old to prevent enemy flanking or possible friendly casualties. When clearing a room, the entry team usually works slowly and deliberately, limiting the possibility of friendly casualties. In most cases, they work using ballistic shields and mirrors, but for the purpose of this video, we will not use them. Before entering, entry team must stack up to the door. This means at least one man on the left side of the door and one man on the right side. The other members complete the stack by putting themselves on either side, possibly close to a wall, and assist by holding angles and doors not checked. They can also be required for equipment purposes, more on that later. Be advised, it is possible that some doors require a one-wall stack. That means all members stacking on one wall. Suspects have a foothold in this area, and they're refusing to cooperate. Entry team, you are cleared to proceed with the mission. The first thing is to establish which team member is on what's called the weak side, in which contains the handle to the door. This is important, as now this team member is considered the support for entry. He will be the one picking and opening the door when asked to by his buddy, who is on the strong side of the door and is on the point man. He will decide if the team is ready or not for entry. Now that we have established who's who, the point man muzzles up to signal for a peek. The support executes. The point man now uses every tactical advantage of the game to check what is and who is in the room. The point man then muzzles up to, to signal for an opening door. The support executes. The portman can hold with now the other side of the room, who hasn't been fully checked. Now, assuming there are no threats, or if a threat is compliant or has left the scene without engaging, the team is ready for entry. Muzzle up to signal the team's entry and clear. The portman enters, the support follows, as well as the rest of the team. More on how to enter and clear a room later. It is possible that the point man asks a team member for a flashbang. In that case, one of his teammates stacked behind takes position on his side, ready to toss a flash. He then waits for the point man's order and executes. The flash can be very helpful when engaged or when a suspect is behind cover before entry. 
it is possible that the portman asks a team member for a battering ram. In that case, the support on the weak side prepares and executes. It is possible that the portman asks for a C2. In that case, the support on the weak side prepares the C2. Entry team must then step away a bit and the support executes. Once you enter the room, you choose to go either left or right, following walls. This is important to quickly dominate the room you just walked in. The support must take the side you haven't picked. You go left, he goes right, and vice versa. Now, let's assume that you are a five-man team. How does the team proceed? Well, if the first to enter choose to go left, the rest goes as follows. Right, left, right, and finally left. Closing the door if possible. And vice versa. Right, left, right, left, and finally right, closing the door if possible. The team then proceeds, if possible, to the next stack by following their respective wall, which is the best possible way of the team to hold domination of the room. You have now successfully secured the room. Excellent work, Gentry team! Chem lights can be used to mark entries you did or did not clear. Perfect for orientation purposes. Speed is key, as the team must gain control of the room before the targets understand what is happening and can prepare themselves an effective defense against entry team. Usually, the last team member to enter is the one in charge of potential complying threats and civilians to arrest. It can change depending on the situation. Do not open the door while directly in front of the door. Stay on either the strong or weak side to gain the upper hand on potential suspects. Do not try to enter the room if the portman just indicated his move by muzzling up to prevent stuff like this. Do not go front while entry and clear. Follow your walls even when moving through corridors to prevent bad surprises or even worse, friendly fire. Do not stay at the frame of the door while entry and clear. The entire team must enter the room. Do not try to throw a flashbang if you are unsure of the suspect's behavior. The consequences might be very deadly. Do not breach if you haven't checked for trap first. If one or multiple suspects are not compliant and engage entry team at the door, do not panic and make sure to step back a bit if possible. That way, the threshold is all by the team and the hostile who decides to rush the door will likely be tricked by his own game, as you are now making them go for you just without the tactics that you have. After some time, entry team must restack, recheck the door and proceed. If at least one team member has just passed the door frame and is just being engaged, do not stop or go back. The entire team must enter to quickly take control of the room, using the follow your walls mechanic and eliminate the threat. The team can then secure the room and proceed. Do not try to go back if you just passed the door frame to avoid you and your team to be stuck and easy picking for suspects. The follow your walls mechanic is often used to clear big rooms. It can be applied to corridors too, as two men advancing is better than one. The two members can hold the threshold together. One of them can then muzzle up to signal his body for a move, following his wall. Following your walls, one of the team members will not be able to move further due to a difficult angle to take care of. In that case, his support the one following the opposite wall, must make sure that the angle is secured and then tell them, by muzzling down, to move.
So let's recap. Pick the door. Check for traps. Ask for a flashbang. Battering ram or C2. Hold the threshold. Muzzle up. The left right follow up. Follow your walls and hold domination. Entry team to talk. Entry team has successfully reached the end of the video. Copy that. Put them on safe and let them hang. Great job.